When we're working with complex timelines or we've spent a lot of time trying to make our video projects perfect, we want to make it as easy as possible for ourselves to make changes or adjustments to our edits without disrupting the rest of our timeline. So in this week's video, we're talking about slip trimming because this is a technique that a lot of people get confused about, even though it's super beneficial to editors of all levels, beginners and advanced. Slip trimming works by enabling you to change what portion of Eclipse media appears in the timeline, where in just one movement, you can change Eclipse start and end points simultaneously. So for example, let's say we have this lovely video of a panda choosing some bamboo to eat. We can see he rummages around for a while at the beginning of the shot, and then he starts munching away. So I'm just editing my clip as normal here, using these trimming handles to pre-trim, and I'm gonna bring the beginning part of my video into the timeline. Next, I'm just gonna carry on adding some more shots to my timeline here so I have a lovely little sequence. Now let's say we're watching our video back and decide we just don't like this part of the video. So this panda shot isn't working for me as it stands, but instead I want the second half of the same clip to play, the bit where he's actually chewing on his food. The timing here on the timeline is right, but instead the footage is wrong, it's not what I want. One way to change this of course would be to drag the clip out with the trimming handles and then trim the beginning part off. Or perhaps I could find the second half from my media library and drag to replace the clip. As you can see, both of these are probably going to affect the length of the clip and therefore my project as a whole. Also, it can be a bit faffy if we've got a complex timeline where we're worried about pushing other bits of media out of place. So to replace the media inside this clip with content from the same video, but maintain the length of the clip on the timeline, a far easier way would be to use the slip trim icon, enabling me to choose the new section I want without anything else on the timeline moving. To do this, I tap to select the clip and I see the slip trim icon light up. Once I tap it, I can see my entire clip here on the preview bar and the section I've already chosen on my timeline will be highlighted. But we don't want this bit, do we? That's the part I originally put into the timeline. That's the part I chose from the clip, the beginning section of this video. So now I want to add the second half. I want to replace that first half with this second bit. So I'm going to drag my finger on this lit up section to the right to highlight the new section I want. When I let go of my finger, notice that the content of my clip on the timeline will be changed. Now I'm viewing the second half of my panda clip where he's actually eating the bamboo. There it is in the timeline. Let's play around with that a bit more. We can chop and change this as we like. I'm gonna to tap to highlight, and I'm gonna to drag to the new highlighted section. You can see here, I'm choosing the section of the clip that I want on the timeline. A quick tip here while you're choosing a new section of your clip, you can see that holding the slip trimmer closer to the in point displays the first frame in the preview while you trim. Holding closer to the out point displays the last frame while you trim. This is to help you see the part you're choosing to put into the timeline. Whichever you choose, this is up to you, whatever you find easier. Also, if you don't fancy the dragging motion to find your perfect in and out points, you can instead move the playhead to a specific frame on your file and swipe down on the preview to set the in point or instead swipe up to set the out point. The duration of the clip will be based on the duration you've set on the timeline. So as you can see, this technique is really fun to do and it can come in handy in quite a few scenarios. Here are a few you might use it today. For example, let's say you've created a video montage to music and you've timed your shots exactly how you want them with your clips hitting the right beats as your video plays through. You're going to want to keep your clips in position to maintain the timeline alignment so your hard work doesn't go out of sync. By using the slip trim, the position of your clips stay the same. We just choose another part of our videos to use. Another reason might be that we have a very complex timeline and you don't want anything to move or go out of sync. So let's say we want to use a different part of this clip here. By using the slip trim tool, instead of deleting the clip and inserting another section, 
I can simply select another shot of the action to see without fear of anything in my timeline moving around. So as you can see, slip trimming is a really, really useful technique, but it is a little bit hard to get your head around at first. So if you're completely new to this, start off with a completely blank timeline, maybe insert one or two clips and have a play around. Then have a go with a more complex timeline and see the benefits as it works for you. For more tips and tricks from the Luma Touch Academy, please feel free to join us on our live practical workshops. You can find out more at luma-touch.com forward slash academy. And for the rest of you, I'll see you next week here on the Luma Touch YouTube page.